trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv Well, hello there, it is Paul Mash TV. Time again. Thank you so much for joining us. We got a great interview coming up for you shortly. But if you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell below you there here on YouTube. And anytime a new episode comes your way, you'll be notified. And you can check that out. Leave a comment on the comment section if you like. We'd love to hear from you there. And if you're on Facebook, go to facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV. And feel free to follow us there, send us an inbox, uh, comment the things there. And we have email as well, obviously, as palmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And if you're a band or a solo artist that wants to be on the show, send us an email and we'll get back to you. And also, if you're a fan, again, send us an email and uh, we'll, we'll get back to you there as well. And all this is going to be uh, recapped at the closing credits at the end of the show, so stay tuned for that. From Fredrickson, uh, New Brunswick, we have Nellie Spinney today. Very awesome artist. And uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. And we'll get to that in a second. But first, here is a uh, quick word from Galtar, the guitar made for women. And it starts right now. Ready in five. Galta, the musical apparel that fits any outfit. Galta, bringing heaven to earth, one gal at a time. Galtaheaven.com. Okay, we're back, and with us from Fredrickson, uh, New Brunswick, we have uh, Nellie Spinney with us today. Thanks for joining us, Nellie. Thank you for having me on your show. Yeah, no problem. We're glad to have you here today. Uh, how did it start for you as far as being an artist? I mean, uh, we all start in our different ways. Uh, I'm sure you've always wanted to be one since you were a little kid, uh, but tell us a little bit about uh, how that got started for you. Well, I was adopted at five days old, and the lady who adopted me could play the piano like nobody's business. She was older, but she played a lot of hymns, and it was all by ear, and I was so in love. Every time she played, I knew I had something in me I wanted to get out, but I was shy and insecure, so it was a long time. I never had a radio growing up, and uh, I got married uh, quite young and had four children, so it was a while before I got into the music. And uh, once I once I started listening to the artists that I loved at the time, Tammy Wynette, and Tanya Tucker, I I knew I was hooked on music in one way or another. I would I would pursue some type of a music career. I mean, uh, uh, most most of us will never be famous, but we can do quite a bit with music to please people and please ourselves. Mm, okay, well, that's quite a story. And uh, you had mentioned just a second ago people like Tammy Wynette, Tanya Tucker. I'm sure those were. Uh... Uh, people that influenced you, were there any others that influenced you besides that? Uh, uh, well, Canadian singers, of course, Gordon Lightfoot, Brian Adams, and Neil Young, they were big influences. And uh, and the men, George and Merle, uh, you can't not, can't not love music and, and, and pass them by. And then I like a lot of folk now that I never listened to. And I think one of the greatest songwriters that I've ever heard is is Towns Van Zandt. And I, you know, I love most of his ballads that he's written. So uh, I think I like I like all types of music. Probably the greatest singer on earth is Andrea Pacelli, and he's not country or folk. But uh, if you like music, you like all music. You just have to pick the songs in those genders of music that you really like. And I love it all. Yeah, uh, that's what we uh, do here at uh, Paul Mash TV. We uh, cater to all genres. And uh, yeah. and you and you had mentioned Gordon Lightfoot. Yeah, he was definitely a legend. And uh, uh well tell everybody how we can find your music if they want to get it after watching this song i mean uh is it on all streaming platforms can we follow you on social media as well tell us that yeah i know it's on spotify and apple music and of course on youtube videos are on youtube that uh some of the songs are uh 
our cover songs. I did, I think, 13 of them. A uh, uh, young lady, Dolly Dunn, which you may have heard of before. She's pretty popular around this area. Uh, sh she helped me with uh, some cover songs. And then I wrote six songs. And uh, I put them on. And there's I have two duets, one with Wolf Milestone and uh, the other with George McGuire. And uh, both of them, uh, one is a cover song with Wolf, but the one that George wrote, um, is a beautiful song as well. So they're all there. If you go looking for me, you'll find me. Okay. Well, go out there to those social media sites and also the streaming media sites you mentioned and uh, get her music. I know she would appreciate that. And um, uh, we're about getting ready to go to the video in just a moment here. Uh, why don't you tell us the name of the song? I know you did a duet with uh, Wolf Milestone on here, who we've had on the show uh, at least twice. And he's a really good singer, obviously. Uh, tell us the title of the song and uh, and also tell us uh, why you decided to pick that, uh, and, uh, you know, because you might have a reason why. Uh, so go ahead and tell us that. Well, probably the biggest reason I picked the song Maybe She Lied was because it was Tanya Tucker's. And uh, it was she's had a few duets, but I knew I loved the song. And I didn't know Wolf at all, but I'd heard him singing and I approached him and he approached me just back and forth. We decided we'd do it together. It was a good choice. He's a. He was a great guy to have on board with me. And uh, I hope that uh, if anyone listens to it, they'll agree that he did a great job and hopefully they'll enjoy my voice as well. Yeah. So. And uh, as I said before, you know, I've had him on the show a couple of times and uh, mm. I'm sure we'll have him back on the show again. And um, and like I said, it is a great song and we'll get to that in a second. But uh, Nellie, we thank you so much for being on the show today. Uh, come well, back. Come back anytime you want to plug something new. We'll have you back on. I thank you, Paul, for taking the time to spend with me to get my song out there and uh, and uh, hear a little bit about me and hear a little bit about what I like. And thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, no problem. And here it is. Okay. Maybe She Lied by uh, Nellie and Wolf Milestone and it starts. Just like 
like a ghost And this music on the stereo Plays James Johnson songs we love the most If I had my mind about me, I'd take my truck and simply drive away. Oh, but I'm down to my last memory. All I can do is say, maybe I lied, cause I didn't want to hurt. These teardrops that come from a bro.